Hey everyone and uh, welcome back to some more story gaming. Battles Gate 3. I wanted to... <laughs> sorry, I was distracted here for a second. Uh, I wanted to, to do a quick camping. Oh, that is really nice. Not to talk to anyone really. If I don't have to. But I, I want to make sure that all my... Yeah, 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 I have enough camp supplies. No one wants to talk. Here we go. Which is, you know, sometimes you don't have to talk. Just put your head down. That was a bit much. Can I just select one? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I have I have supplies. I'm good. Um, it's it's more about restoring the spells really than anything else. Oh, what is happening? That's I her promised again. I'd be back. Don't oh. worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought Nettie might be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was reaffirm the danger. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you. I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. But to do that, we'll need to think beyond local healers. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. Okay. The absolute aims are not yet clear to me, but its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute, and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. Interesting. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Because we share a common cause and a common enemy. We are alike. You and I. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once... I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. Okay. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. Follow the cultists' trail. They will lead you to their masters. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. 
Very interesting. Okay. So that explains why we haven't turned yet. So I should speak up. Another dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the absolute cultist's lair and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us, how far into a lithid madness it could drag us. Hmm. Battles are won with swords, not mind games born of she brain like it. The ones we fight with these cultists will be no different. And there will come a battle. Of that I'm most certain. The one truth that fell out of the dream figure's cankered lips. She's very one-dimensional in her thinking. I will leave her alone. Yeah, she's very one-dimensional in her thinking. It's, it's not helpful, honestly. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Let's see. Will has something to say about that? Gale certainly will. I had another dream last night. The visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection. It gave me a tadpole gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. I suppose it hoped this would help. At I first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet, I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. Hmm... Very well. If it's mind games these parasites wish to play, we'll play. And we'll win. Again, I like him. He's a cool character, after all. Um, I will talk to him about this other stuff later. Let's see what Gale thinks. I've been dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the absolute, to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. She even offered me greater powers. The result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. Yeah. As existential evils go, the Absolute certainly seems an adversary worth holding in its tracks. Any opportunities for us to indulge our tadpole's capabilities are hardly on the same scale. Trifles, when one considers the bigger picture. This is a really... This is a pickle. <laughs> We're just in a, in a large pickle. But yeah, the, the fact that um, that we didn't turn yet is, is kind of convincing, if you ask me. Then again, it could all be a ruse after all, right? So it really, it's really, really hard to tell what's going on. I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. I Did I receive a gift? That's the part that I... I... And while we're at it, 
we can see how many more of these little worms we can harvest. Now, was there anything else? We will talk about your history later. I'm very interested. I had another dream. Which, I suppose, means you did as well. Mm -hmm. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the Absolute. But wants us to embrace the Tadpole. Venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. That's exactly what I was thinking. It's kind of... Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. Hmm. I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate. Ooh. No matter the cost. Don't Though let it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. Hmm. I see. Okay. It is rather curious, right? I'm being eaten by a fucking mosquito here right now. I'm trying to catch it all the time, and it's... I only have one eye left, so my... You know... My 3D vision is kind of fucked up. <laughs> Alright, how can I leave the camp? Can I not just... Yeah, leave camp, there you go. Okay, now let's save. And then... Um, somehow I was supposed to get the oh, it's the other side, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's the other side. Uh, 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 uh. Go here. Mm, now there were traps down here, so I need to be a little more careful. Let's just jump over there. And then jump over here. And then jump down here. So. Now that we sorted that out. There's a swarming. Seriously. I just said be careful. I am reconsidering my entire you're the rogue thing. I think I explicitly raised her dexterity for that purpose. And she still fucks up. What's next I wonder. I will drink a potion. This way. There was, I think there were some more enemies down this street here. Um, what a day. I will Damn. use Astarion to move forward. I would say, hang on. Yeah, I have explored this. Oh, I haven't been down there. Hang on. Yeah, I wanted to explore this area first. There's a heavy chest. Ooh. Well, well, well. Something over there. Yeah, see, there's more enemies down there. What are you guys? I'm too far away. Looks like one of these mushroom creatures. Not entirely sure. Okay. So, dirt mount. Oh, so it's two chests? Nice. Um, open it. Uh, we got some good stuff here. Cloud of daggers and large. Yeah, I'll take it. And healing potions. What are you? Timusks, known to cause confusion. Let's not oh, get too oh, 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 oh. oh, 
Shadowheart. What did I just... You stupid woman. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Befuddled. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, so... When you see these, destroy them. That That's oh, essentially the message, huh? So, hang on, let me do that. Spill some no, 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 And then, you, basically, this is how you can get rid of the, 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 the thing. Alright, so we have those chests. Um, I could go down there. That was the mosquito again. I need to catch that in between the next episode. Those are the, the bones that I found. And that's how I could get down there. Hang on. There is a gap. Where does this go? I think this is... Yeah, this is going all the way up. This is so confusing. <laughs> There's a lot of these mushrooms. Shit. Keep a blade close. Trust no one. Okay. This is where we are. Can I shoot some of these from up here? To get rid of them already? Yeah. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, see, Mykonite, Mykonit. I don't know exactly the name of these things. But you don't want that in a battlefield against you, right? Could he actually shoot one of these fuckers? From up there he could. I'm considering... Because in the in the entrance area there was something um, that would cause all sorts of rumbling. I could go down here and avoid that area, right? Because there was a name called by one from the group. And I was like, I'm not sure I want to deal with something like that. So if I were to put a Starion up here and engage from here, I would have all sorts of high ground, right? Right. Oh, shit, there's more of these, so I need to take care of that before I consider, like, anything. No, no line of sight. Okay, fair enough. Maybe from here? And and I'm pretty sure that these guys are immune. They've, oh, they are... Oh, they're vulnerable against fire. Which makes sense. Which makes sense. Um, also, their general stats are relatively low. Low armor class. It's their number and probably the kind of attacks that they have 36 hit points is doable but it's four of them so oh what you are different though you're a Doragar that's a Doragar that is something entirely different noxious mission you're different you are different you have more hit points same low armor class, though. Let's check out the Duragar. 
Yeah, see, he's a he's a fucking dwarven bad guy. He is. He doesn't spore servant. The animating spores of a Mykonoid sovereign. Hang on. Have taken over his dread creature's body and moving it according to the sovereign's will. So he's basically a plant zombie. His armor class is only 10. But... Strength and constitution are high. 34 hit points. He's got an axe. So he's not a magic... He might... He might just be a, a zombie. Okay. So. Here's what I'm gonna do. Because, you know... I've been planning all the time. I'm gonna split the party. Actually, let me do... Let's keep to the shadows. Nope. Oh, yeah. No Go hide. And then we're putting... These guys together in one group. Nice and quiet now. And we will go down this way. I will engage the battle Carefully here now. and start picking off guys from high ground with the uh, respective. I hope that works. I should save, right? That is always a good idea. Oh shit! No, 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 that's, that's, that, go, go away. Holy shit. I don't want to deal with this one. You know what this is, right? That's a bullet. I have read about these. So... That thing has over 100 hit points and is poisonous and, and has all sorts of shit attacks. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it at this moment. How do I do that then? Um, maybe... Can I just... Something smells tasty. So if I move you here... Can I then just shoot one of these fuckers? Yeah, I could. Restless Mykonoid. Can I actually sneak attack him? I don't know why I don't have advantage against them. Disadvantage? See what I mean? That's regular attack range. No, outside normal range. Damn it. Well. 60%. 65. I'm gonna shoot him. Yes? No? Maybe? Path is interrupted. Okay. So let's shoot him. Okay, now we're in turn-based mode. That guy didn't see me. Here we go. That guy didn't see me. Okay, I don't have an I see, so Move it. Let's go here. Do we have a line of sight? I do not have a line of sight. I don't have a line of sight on any of these guys. Let's get on with it. Interesting. On I go. How about you? Not enough movement. She would need to get a little more to the left. Really? And I Let's move. I can't do that. Okay. Well, I guess. One day I'll catch a break. Forty-nine percent. Miss. Okay, now they became hostile. So the battle is commencing. That's good. So you're 
vulnerable to fire, right? Yes, you are, and that actually does work out. My faith will protect me. She can do the same. Your time has come. Oh, 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 oh. That was a critical. Move back a little. I'm not sure if these guys have any sort of remote attack. Are they just hauling up back there? That would be kind of boring, though. Come on, come Let's wait. Um, path is interrupted. Yeah. They're just hiding there. Oh, the Duragar is dashing forward. Come on. You are man. You are rot. So he did some hasting. But he's yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come forward, come forward. He can do some spore attacks and shit like that. Yeah, that's very... Ooh, that was a lot of damage, though. And he's poisoned. Noxious fumes. Yeah, he should get out of there. Can I still... Yes. Okay. Get out of the fumes. Drink a potion. Okay. That's not ideal, honestly. Not what I had in mind. You stay there. Huh. That's the Duragar. I'd rather go after this guy. But 55% is also not a whole lot. Alright, so did some damage there. Does this help me? Not against the spore attacks, they are probably they not going. Firebolt. <laughs> it, that was not clever. Is worth the cost. So, what we got? These guys are together ish, right? Can I get them both? I can. 15 and 16. So he's on at 10. There's another one down there. I don't I don't mind this guy too much. Apparently, this guy doesn't have to worry about the bullet. Okay. Let's move forward. I want to take him out. So he... That's eight points of damage. Fast. And um Down with you. There goes this guy. Alright, that's good, that's good. Now get out of the sweet sorcery. So what what we have left? We have the restless mycanoid. I think that guy is dashing up here. Yeah 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 yeah. He's coming this way. But with ease.
What kind of... He's also vulnerable to fire, right? 19 hit points. This is kind of boring, like... Well, if I roll well, I could take him out, right? That was the lamest, lamest throw that you could have come up with. <laughs> See what I mean? Like, I rolled a fucking two. Mm. I will give it. Well, they will not shoot anymore from here. So if I move there. Nah, I don't want to. I, I'm, I don't necessarily need to attack him here. What do I have to do? Well, I ran into the noxious shit again. That certainly is not good. Yeah, we're back to... He's dashing. Dashing. Alright. So, we have the Mykonoid right here. I can already shoot a fireball at him. Which I will. And miss. Concentrate. Yes, exactly. Concentrate. Um... I think it's time to go with the armor class now. So he is eight point something away. So if I move here, he will have to dash and doesn't have enough movement for an attack in this turn. If he makes it this far. Yeah, he will. Do you have a line of sight on him? My honor. Ooh, it's got a sting from here. I don't have a fire attack on you. That's something that I should probably do at some point. Give this guy a fire attack. How can he save? Isn't like that a wisdom saving throw? What's your fucking wisdom? Um, okay. I did not consider this. And I started out so nice. Alright. So, 60%. Actually... Why do I not have advantage here? That does not make sense. Alright, let's see if we can take him out entirely. One down. You go here. Ready. And you wait. You go here. And use some fire. Oh, he's dead. Nice. So I just have to care about this guy over here. The spore servant. The last one. Okay, cool. So I move over here. I will take the time to go around these spores. How long is that? Survival is all that matters. Hmm. And you will go up here and wait. Oh. I could have used the glow bulb as well. Just realized that. It is kind of boring to use this technology. Can you shoot him? Not enough movement. Stay He's too far back. Yeah, it's kind of boring to just her fire at them. 
Especially if the fire is not, you know, like super... Path is interrupted. Okay. How about from here? No, no, not enough right. movement. Let's go. You can shoot him from out here. Nice. Let him come up. He needs to dash. He can't do anything this turn. All right. Is he threatened? He's not threatened. Is that not close enough? Yeah, it is. 55 is really low, though. Because... Why? Well, it doesn't matter, because that was a success. And it just did 28 piercing damage. Very nice, very nice. So, that was... Cool. That other fucker is still down here somewhere. And normally I would have expected this... Thing... To attack these these mutinoids as well. Oh, bronze ring, leather armor, <laughs> a great club. Oh, nice. Some gold. Okay. Mucanoid flesh. Hastening spores. Okay. Cool. Can't slow down. Um, my problem, my core problem, is that this thing is still around, and I'm kind of fucked up already. My faith um, will guide me. Here. So how much is that? One to eight. Two to sixteen. Take Let's hope I roll. Hand. Well, still it was kind of an okayish roll. But that means also that I used up her um, grade 2 spell. Anyways, I need to make a plan on how to do this next time. Because if I want to go down there and the bullet is there. But I also need to check out. I think they all said I get a, get a gift. So I'm going to check out what that means in between episodes. And maybe I find it in my inventory or I don't know. I didn't find any skills that I got in addition. So I need to figure this out. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I see you tomorrow for the next one. Until then, I am Storio. Bye-bye.